Hello, this is Billy Corr from the Nostalgia Mall, and before I begin with this uh, video, I just want to give my uh, thanks, appreciation, and prayers to uh, everyone uh, dealing with the coronavirus uh, pandemic right now. I will admit it is quite scary. <laughs> uh, my prayers and thoughts go out to everyone involved in this. And um, as for me, I'm doing okay. Uh, it's everything's shut down in North Carolina right now, and I'm having to deal with um, a new routine that I'm not used to. So it's kind of hard, but we'll make we'll make it through. Don't worry. And I also apologize for the uh, lateness of this particular video. Uh, the uh, original subject of this video I ran into a minor uh, setback with, so I'm having to wait on a part to arrive. So, to fill in for that video, I figured, you know what? Let's look at a computer we haven't looked at in a long time. Let's check out the Packard Bell Legend 204 CD. Um, this is a computer I recently put back into the rotation. I bought this computer off of a YouTube user called Ala Boot Max back in February of 2018, so I've had it a little over two years now. This is um, my only 3x3 style desktop um, Packard Bell at the moment, and it's also my only 486 based computer at the moment. So, um, a couple of onlys with this computer, I guess you could say. <laughs> I put this back in service just to have something to tinker with a few weeks ago, and I got to admit I've um, been having a lot of fun with this computer. I forgot how nice this um, computer is and how how much fun you can have with a 486. Um, specs of this computer: um, a, it has a Intel 8486 um, DX2 clocked at 66 megahertz, probably one of the most classic uh, types of 486s you can have. Of course, it is a socket three. Has eight megabytes of memory. A 3 gigabyte hard drive, there was originally a 420 meg drive in there, or, I think, but when I got this computer it didn't have the original drive in it. Of course I'm only using 2 gigs of this 3 gig hard drive because this is uh, running a uh, DOS based system, so FAT16 um, can only go up to 2 gigabytes. But that's okay. And I've also got a CDRW drive in here. I only have it in here just for reading CDs and not for burning because there's really no point in having a CD burner in this computer but this needed an optical drive and this was my only beige uh, IDE optical drive I could put in there and it's working just fine so who cares <laughs> so yeah I'm very glad to have this computer back in um, service another reason to show this computer is it didn't really make much of an appearance in um, Nostalgia Mall Christmas 2019, so it's really about time for this computer to get the spotlight again. So, already got the KVM set to the right input, so let's power her up. Alright, here's our power on self test. This uses the PV4. 450M Plus motherboard, and I'm having to use uh, disk overlay software on here for the hard drive to work. And this is MS DOS 6.2, I believe. And I do have a network card in this computer. And we're booting into Windows for Workgroups 3.11. Takes a while for the uh, network to initialize. Of course, there's always the possibility that the network cable has uh, gotten unplugged from this computer because I don't have many Ethernet cables left that still have the clips on them, so they can uh, get disconnected quite easily. Yep, the uh, cable must be unplugged because um, it's not able to obtain an IP address. So we'll just uh, we'll just ignore that for now. We don't need network connectivity in this video anyway. 
Yeah, 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 Crimea River. And here we are. I sounded way too enthusiastic for that. <laughs> hey, look, it's the program manager. It finally appeared. <laughs> I'm a weirdo. But as you can see, um, I've got plugin for Windows installed on here. This is a must-have for me on my Windows 3.1 X systems. I believe you can probably find a copy of it on archive.org, but I've um, explained what this product does before in videos before, So, uh, but basically it just adds a few extra features to um, the Windows 3.1 program manager, including a clock, this little thing right here, and uh, my favorite, nested program groups, which is really, really cool. So we'll go up to our file manager, and it's not showing my network drives, obviously. I, I just need a whole bunch of brand new Ethernet cables in this house. <laughs> and because this is a uh, older Packard Bell, this was manufactured in March of 1995, which makes it almost 25 years old. So happy birthday to the 204 CD. This uses the 9495 software pack. I've um, I've explained um, the different types of Packard Bell software packs before in my uh, Packard Bell Buyer's Guide video. But basically, this has the 9495 pack with the older version of Navigator, which we can see right here. Welcome to Packard Bell's Navigator. Welcome to the main menu of Navigator, the easy way to get to know and use your Packard Bell computer. Explore the functions of Navigator by using the mouse or the tab or arrow keys on your keyboard. So this is Navigator version 2 and the uh, software uh, pack, uh, well the restore CD I used on this computer is a bit older than this computer. It's from February of 95 so maybe not that, that big a deal but and of course you got Navigator 2.0 which has the uh, 2D and 3D um, interface which just takes you to uh, takes you right back to two other 2D interfaces so yeah not quite as intuitive as later versions I will close that Okay, time to load up a game on here. This is um, a game that has been requested by someone who uh, watches my channel very, very regularly, and he um, has been wanting me to play this one of these games for a very long time, so I will grant that request. He's been wanting to see some uh, Putt-Putt gameplay, so how about some Putt-Putt joins the parade? Now, I forgot I do. I have had a few little issues with this uh, CDRW drive. Sometimes on certain discs, it takes a while for it to uh, get going. So, uh, hopefully, um, nothing's too seriously wrong with this drive because I don't have any other beige optical drives I can put in here. Okay, I think we're just about there. Hopefully, this should work fine. <laughs> Oh yeah, every now and then when you uh, load this game up, you get a little uh, ad for Fatty Bear's birthday surprise. Hi, I'm Putt-Putt. Come join me on my adventure. I'm ready to go. He calls this an adventure. see the sun didn't come up, um, didn't show the animation of the sun coming up, so I think that has something to do with the, with the drive not hmm. working like it should. I think I'll turn on my radio. Good morning, Cartel! Wake up, all or the fact that it's a 486, I, I don't know, it should have come up. 
Drive on down to the car Probably the CD drive and Spooky the fire engine will sign you up so you can march in the parade. Don't be a crankcase. Get in gear and join the fun. That sounds great. I wish I had a pet. Maybe I'll go downtown and talk to Smokey. I better get ready. Yeah, get ready. That fly should have gotten ready. Uh huh. Hmm. Flying breakfast. Oh boy, Tyros! I'm hungry. Ew! I use ten drops of oil in my cereal. Just one cent. I guess inflation must not exist in Car Town. It's a swell day for a parade. Oh yeah, it looks very parady to me. Music in this game is fantastic. I wonder how I can get past that cow. Nothing in there will help me fix this problem. You mean we just can't we, we you mean we can't bribe the cow to go away? What's this game trying to teach kids anyway? Oh yeah, just scare everyone out of your way. That's a good lesson. <laughs> That's not a good sign. Right, but there's oh, there a few things you'll need to do before you can join the parade. You're the chief, whatever you say. First of all, you'll need a car wash, so you'll need to earn some money. But how? Are you calling him don't dirty? Some lawns. But I don't have a lawn. It's not very nice, Here, Smokey. Borrow mine. Gee, thanks. How else can I earn money, Smokey? Well, you can also deliver groceries for Mr. Baldini. Those are great ideas. And when you come to the parade, you'll need to bring This was 1992. A you couldn't uh, order have... groceries online yet. I always wanted a puppy. Then I'm sure you'll find one. And don't forget your balloon. I won't. Say, Smokey, do you know where I should go to Mulan's today? Try Red Street first. Ooh, Red Street. <laughs> now I can cross Red Street. Smokey says there's lawns to mow there. Look at those nails. They look dangerous. Hmm, so does the music. Let's see if we can get that music going again. There we go. Don't forget the big pet parade today. And if you need help along the route, just to or check the tow truck. Chuck, you heard me. You bet I did, little putt putt. Now let's get you out of here. Oh, that looks painful. <laughs> Thanks for the help, Chuck. Sure thing, Pot Pot. It's Car Town Gas and Tires. Ouch, that looked painful. Maybe I should go back and mow those lawns. 
Hmm. After an injury like that, I don't think he'll be mowing any lawns for a while. Punt, punt. Hey, it's the toy store. Maybe they'll have something to help get those nails off the road. Top of the morning to you, Putt Putt. What can I help you with today? Hi, Mrs. Pinto. Do you have anything uh, that will help me Lord pick Pinto. up the nails on the street? Why, Putt Putt, I believe I've just a thing. The magnet you left here last week. Great idea. I know how he feels. I'm always leaving my magnets at toy stores. It gets irritating. So this is where I left my magnet. Just realized that's the same clown doll from uh, Fatty Bear's Birthday Surprise. Interesting. Alright, let's try this again. Aren't you uh, actually supposed to call uh, State Highway Patrol when there's obstructions in the road? That's what I'd do, but... That's just this reality. This is a different reality we're in. Salutations! Can I be of some help to you? Oh, oh, oh. I would like to mow your lawn. I would be pleased to have you mow my lawn for me. Now, technically, in this game, all we have to do is just uh, mow the edges. But I like being thorough. Alright, let's get this. Uh... I'm sad to admit, when I was a kid, this part of the game, I would always have my mom do for me. <laughs> Thank you, Mom. Oh, oh no, not again. There we go. And not the healthiest optical drive in the world, apparently. I finished mowing. Merci, little car. Here, this coin is for you. Thanks. Oh, great. Two pennies. So much I can do with that. Okay, I'm going to save this game and play the rest later because we've got a continue on with um, our video. Yes. Okay, how about some 3D Dinosaur Adventure? This is a game that was pre-installed on this computer from the factory. So let's give it a try. I know a lot of people um, I have fond memories of these uh, knowledge adventure games on these older Packard Bells. I missed out on them, but at least I get to enjoy them now. So, multimedia applications. Uh... Huh. Where is it? I know it would have come on this system. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Cannot execute product batch file. Hmm. Maybe we ought to drop down to DOS and load it from there. Let's 
see what's on the CD drive. Uh, this CD is going to struggle as well, apparently. thing is, when I uh, got this drive, it was brand new, out of the box, and never been used, but even when you don't use a CD drive, the lasers can still deteriorate, so that's the thing. There we go. Hmm. CD Dino 3D. I'm surprised there wasn't an icon in Windows that this, this came with a computer. Okay, that's not going to work. Okay, I guess that does something. <laughs> yeah. I'm so scared. To 3D Dinosaur Adventure. Get ready. Put your 3D glasses on. I don't have any. Okay, if I had some 3D glasses on right now, I would be blown out of my seat. I can guarantee that. Welcome to Dinosaur Adventure 3D. To take your virtual reality tour through the park, click on the doorway. If you want to go directly to an activity, just click on one of the buttons at the top of the screen. Yeah, this game came out not long after Jurassic Park, so... Be uh... careful. The park is filled with dinosaurs. Some of them are dangerous. Hmm. Oh, I see. I gotta they okay, move the mouse. Or the uh, arrow keys on the keyboard. It'll get you around. Let's see. We got the Jurassic Jungle. Okay. How does this work? Okay. And we got the Cretaceous Corner. Not sure what I'm doing exactly. Okay, <laughs> I'm stuck here now. Ah, there we go. Okay, we'll just go to the Cretaceous Corner. Well, that's uh, the only thing I'm able to access right now because I don't know how to do anything else. Velociraptor, speedy plunderer. Velociraptor means speedy plunderer. 
And indeed, this Cretaceous period dinosaur was built to be a quick hunter. Velociraptor was lightweight with long back legs for running, a stiff tail for balance, needle sharp teeth, and a fairly large. You can brain. just feel the excitement in like this man's voice. The middle toe of each hind foot had a large, vicious curved claw that could be used for slashing at its prey. Some scientists think this fearsome dinosaur hunted in packs, perhaps bringing down dinosaurs much larger than themselves by grabbing them with their front claws and slashing at their bellies with their mean back claw. A human being could have been torn apart in 30 seconds by a pack of velociraptors. A very exciting dinosaur find occurred in Mongolia in 1971. It included a velociraptor and a protoceratops locked in a deadly embrace. The protoceratops had caved in the chest of the velociraptor, and the velociraptor was ripping at the belly of protoceratops. Both had died together. <laughs> Velociraptor. Velociraptor was built to be a quick hunter. Perhaps it was even warm-blooded. Quick to learn why scientists think this is possible. Okay. Were dinosaurs warm-blooded? Most scientists have thought that dinosaurs were cold-blooded animals. It seemed reasonable. Modern reptiles are cold-blooded. So if dinosaurs evolved from ancient reptiles, they were... Uh, this is getting too uh, educational, and I'm not an educational person, so. <laughs> Ooh, dinosaur Are you safari. Ready to go on a dinosaur safari. Will you pay me? Oh yeah, this is straight out of Jurassic Park. <laughs> Click on the dinosaur that had a mouth like a crocodile's and may have caught fish the same way bears do. I have no clue. You're right. You found the Baryonyx. It was 20 feet long and had giant curved claws. Click on the meat-eating dinosaur that had a massive skull and a mouthful of razor-sharp teeth. Uh... I don't know. <laughs> hmm. Save the dinos. Save the dinosaurs. is to travel back in time and save 15 dinosaurs from three different time periods before the comet hits. Remember, don't mm. go the wrong way and beware of the giant bugs. If you need any clues, click on the help consoles at each intersection. Nice. Ah, I'm Dromaeosaurus, a cousin of Velociraptor and just as mean. Next time you'd better watch where you go because I might just eat you. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're so frightening. Wow. Okay. And so this is a little uh, first-person style uh, game. And I have no clue what I'm doing. Hmm. Jurassic period? So I guess we gotta find uh, whatever dinosaurs in that green box. Was this it? I think you have confused me with someone else. Yeah. I'm Allosaurus, a terrifying meat eater who loves to hunt and kill other dinosaurs. Oh, how nice. 
I'm not the dinosaur you want. I'm a brachiosaurus. And sure I'm look like it. Enormous plant eater looking for a meal. <laughs> yeah. I weigh eight at tons. I stand for Okay. We get it. You're the greatest thing ever. Aren't you wonderful? Don't get me mad. Okay. Okay, we've already met before. You don't have to go through the same spiel. Okay, let's see what's down this way. Okay! I'm Dromaeosaurus, a cousin of Velociraptor, and just as mean. Next time you'd better watch where you go. I'm Dromaeosaurus. Okay, we get it. You're a Dromaeosaurus. Just as mean. Next time you'd better watch where you go, because I might just eat you. Okay. Maybe this guy is over here. You did great. Found it. Zelophysis has been saved. Mission two: save Tyrannosaurus Rex. Tyrannosaurus Rex lived in the late Cretaceous period. He was one of the last dinosaurs to live. A oh, good grief! I'm Dromaeosaurus. I if I see that guy again, I'm gonna scream. Next time you'd better watch where you go, because I might just eat. <laughs> I'm Dromaeosaurus, a cousin of Velociraptor, and just as mean. Next time you'd better watch where you go, because I might just eat you. Whatever. Okay, please. Don't let there be a Dromaeosaurus over here. Okay, Cretaceous period. This is where we need to go. Okay. We don't want to go in there or we'll get to hear that same spiel over and over and over again until we, until we uh, cry our eyes out. Yep, he's over there. Okay. Tyrannosaurus. Where are you? Okay. Mission completed. Now, mission three. Go save Triceratops. Triceratops was 30 feet long and weighed 11 tons. It was the rhinoceros of the dinosaurs and lived around 70 million BC. Its three horned head must have been a fearsome sight. Okay. That's great. That's great. You can calm down now. Please. There are you know what around here? No, okay. Okay. I don't want to hear that guy again. Okay. You might be able to make it. Great! Another mission completed! Now, mission four. Go save Sechisaurus. Unfortunately, we do not have much information on Sechisaurus, but we do know it was small and ran on two legs. Sechisaurus hmm, kind of like me. 190 million BC. I don't know what those are. Uh, okay, we don't want that guy again. Okay. I think you have confused uh, me with someone not else. Not him. I'm Allosaurus, a terrifying meat eater who loves to hunt and kill other dinosaurs. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Congratulations! Another mission completed! Now, mission five. Go save Stegosaurus! Stegosaurus was an herbivore that lived 152 million BC, was 21 feet long, and weighed two tons! Oh, okay, uh, no. 
We don't need to hear that spiel for the tw 20th time today. Okay, it's got to be this guy. All right, another mission completed. So far, you've saved five dinosaurs. I just realized this guy sounds like Doc Brown from Back to the Future. Hurry, time is running out. Mission six, save Saltosaurus. Saltosaurus was an herbivore with bony armor. It lived around 64 million BC. Hurry, search it out. Find it. Save it. Okay. And in these knowledge adventure games, uh, when you close out of them, you get this cool little graphical user interface. So we'll return to DOS. Okay, one more thing I want to show in this video. This is the utility that the DOS utility that comes with the Sound 16 sound cards on this computer, and it includes a little program called SoundScript, and it's basically a a DOS uh, MIDI player. This is entertaining. I love this song. lovely song. <laughs> okay, that'll just about do it for this video. This is a such a fun little computer to play around with. Um, I should probably look into replacing the optical drive at some point. I just need to find more uh, white IDE optical drives. <laughs> They're getting a little bit scarce these days. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, this is Billy Kaur, signing off. Thank you for visiting the Nostalgia Mall. If you liked what you saw, please like, subscribe, and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can also support me on Patreon if you would like. The link to all of these are down below. Until next time, this is Billy Core signing off.